Hello YouTube, this is Wei from Twin Cousins Reptiles, and today I'm here to do a species profile. These are dwarf African frogs. Um, they are a species of pipid from the Congo River Basin as well as Gabon, Cameroon, and Nigeria. Um, there are four different subspecies of dwarf African frogs, uh, most of which in the Petre, uh, will not, you, I haven't ever seen any uh, formal species names of them. It's kind of getting in the way. Um, but anyway, uh, as I said, there are species of pipid just like African clawed frogs. Um, they definitely are not African clawed frogs. African clawed frogs will get about the size of your hand almost. They are a pretty um, large frog. Uh, and you definitely don't want to confuse um, dwarf frogs and clawed frogs. Um, as clawed frogs, they do get that big and they will require different care than dwarf frogs. Um, dwarf African frogs are um, in their home. Uh, they are believed to be communal. They live in, uh, I want to say groups, but almost more like a colony. Uh, so yeah, I would suggest if you are going to have dwarf frogs, have three or so dwarf frogs. Three or more. Um, that way they have uh, that aspect of like community life. Um, they do perfectly in a freshwater or community fish tank. Um, that's where I have them in. Except right now, uh, I am treating my fish tank, my 20 gallon tall for ick. Um, and a lot of the fish all have uh, passed, so that's why I'm doing this video now. As the dwarf frogs are here now in the tank, you definitely can't treat the tank with any type of um, thing that's not a fish in the tank. So I have to pull these guys out. Uh, yeah, as I said, they do pretty well in a community fish tank. Um, you are going to have them in a community fish tank though, you are probably going to want to keep them in nothing more than a 20 tall. Um, 20 tall actually is a little bit too high for them. Uh, as they do breathe from the surface, um, they have to come up to the water and come up and breathe. So you definitely don't want that water too high that they have to go uh, and exert too much energy uh, just to breathe. Um, they have web feet, so they are, and they are fully aquatic. Um, they are not a species that I would recommend handling. Uh, you really don't want to handle any frog or toad species all too much. Uh, but like a fire belly toad or a Pac-Man frog, if you had to pick them up, I'd probably do that by hand. Uh, these guys, I really don't even pick up by hand. I just catch them by the net. Uh, and that's just because they're so small and delicate. Um, they will get about two to three inches at the most. Uh, the largest I've seen was probably about two and a half, three inches. Um, they are normally a brownish color, probably to blend in with the riverbed in the Congo Basin. Um, that's another way to tell a dwarf frog from the clot frog. If you see a frog that's albino or any color, because I know a lot of it's like Petland in some places, they'll have uh, clawed frogs of all types of colors. Um, I don't think I've ever seen an albino dwarf frog. I'm not. They probably do exist, uh, but clawed frogs, I've seen a whole lot of them bred for the albino trait. Uh, for a 10-gallon tank, I'd recommend about three dwarf frogs four at the most um 20 gallon tank you could do about six seven possibly eight at the most uh they do get along for the most part with freshwater fish um i haven't ever had any incidents with them trying to eat my fish or anything because i usually keep them with like neon tetra glow light tetra uh, and those type of tetra so they are pretty applicable with those type of fish uh they don't really bother any other fish in the tank so um and another thing that they do is they'll kind of um since they are bottom dwellers they always stay closer to the bottom 
Uh, they will stir up your gravel a little bit, which is good for a community fish tank. They don't stir it up all too much, like if they were a um, turtle or something else. They don't stir it all up all that much, uh, but they do kind of kick the gravel or whatever substrate you have them on around a bit, and that will uh, prevent like an among your spike if you ever like do have to move a whole bunch of gravel. Uh, I would not recommend keeping them on any type of gravel that they could get that they could get into their mouths. Um, it could definitely cause impaction, just like any other uh, animal, basically. Uh, as long as the gravel is larger than their mouths and they can't get it in their mouths, uh, you shouldn't have a problem. I keep mine on gravel, but I make sure the gravel is a large enough gradient that they can't get in their mouths. Where'd you go? Uh, another thing is, you are going to either want to have a lid or at least a high distance from the water level and the top of the tank. Uh, I definitely recommend a lid for these species. They are escape artists. I've had one or two escape actually on me before. Uh, so that's definitely one thing to think about. Uh, always can't stress it enough, have a lid on these guys. Um, they cannot survive outside of water, uh, but that does not mean they won't try occasionally. Um, another cool thing about these frog species is uh, they will actually, they do have a tadpole phase just like any other species of frog. Uh, where they will lay eggs just like any other frog species and uh, the eggs will turn into tadpoles. They don't go like straight to frogs or anything. Uh, they will go through a tadpole phase and uh, they'll just basically stay aquatic because like a whole lot of other frogs, they'll jump out of water and lose their tail. Uh, but the dwarf frogs, what they'll do is they'll just basically lose their tail while they're still in water. Um, so yeah, that is the African door frog. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe. Ask me any questions on African door frogs or what, uh, species you want to see next. So, um, also... Uh, follow our Facebook. Uh, we also now have an Instagram and a Snapchat, all Twin Cousins Reptiles, and a Amino, actually. We are in the Fish Keepers and Reptiles Amino, so um, go follow us there as well. Thanks for watching, and bye.